गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ गौतम शर्मा आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन एस एजुकेशन सो फॉर माइन सी आर टी सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू टू दिस वीडियो फॉर अ टाइम एंड एन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन एन सी आर टी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फ्लूड नाउ लेट एस सी द क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन हेयर इट इज एक्सप्लेन वाई द ब्लड प्रेशर इन द ह्यूमन इज ग्रेटर एट अ फीड देन द ब्रेन so you we know that the formula pressure due to the fluid pressure due to any fluid is equal to rho into g into h now as you can see that the body human body is full of fluid human body is full of fluid fluid so at this bottom bottom if the pressure at the brain is equal to atmospheric pressure but pressure at the bottom pressure at bottom of leg is equal to pressure atmospheric pressure plus rho into g into height why this is so because there is a fluid inside it human body is full of fluid so it means that the, there is a high pressure so due to this only a blood pressure of a human is greater at the face hence p bottom and this is p head so p bottom is a greater than p head hence <coughs> blood pressure in a human is greater at a feet so i hope you have understood this now let us go for a next question that is uh, 9 point b so in line 9 point b atmospheric pressure at a height h height of about 6 km decreases nearly half to the values values at the sea level now the height of the atmosphere is more than 100 km the hydrostatic mass c here atmospheric pressure is the height about a 6 km decreases to nearly half of its value at the sea level now the height of the atmosphere is more than 100 km see here see the atmosphere if you talk about the atmosphere see here it has several layers layer by layer layer by layer so atmospheric height is 100 km but as per the question at as per the question if pressure is p here p is equal to 100 and the pressure at the top is 0 so as per the height if you go through this formula rho gh so what we will get we will get that at this mid point there will be 50 50 pascal but here here what we are uh, what we observe we observe that the at a height of 6 km only at 6 km only 6 km only the pressure become half pressure becomes half half why this happens see the formula if you want to see the formula change in pressure so pressure changes depend upon the density gravity and height <coughs> see here uh, it is not directly dependent on the height it also depend on the density because as we know that when we go upside so the density density is changes drastically when we go when we go above the earth surface surface 
density of the atmosphere density of atmosphere atmosphere changes drastically drastically okay now if it changes it means that the change in a pressure also is not only proportional to height but also density and it also depends upon gravity because as we go move up so gravity also decreases but if we ignore also gravity then also if we say that delta p is not linear not linear hence okay so due to this reason only the atmospheric pressure at a height of at, uh, at 6 km dec decreases nearly half of its value at the sea level okay so i hope you have understood this now next is uh, next is see hydrostatic pressure is a scalar quantity even though pressure is a force divided by area so we know that the formula pressure pressure we know that formula pressure is equal to force by area force by area now when we talk about the pressure so let us consider this is an area so area is also vector quantity so this is the direction of the area so if we will put a force in this direction so the, it will move in this direction so pressure will directly act in this direction now here force is also a vector quantity and area is also a vector quantity so if i will write here force divided by area so both are a vector quantity both um, force and area are vector so vector cannot be divided by vector divide so this is not the correct format so the correct format will should be like this force is equal to pressure into area vector so from here we can see that the pressure is a scalar quantity okay even though if if we consider this uh, as a scalar quantity right force force is equal to pressure into area okay now we can also write here pressure is equal to magnitude of force divided by magnitude of a so if we talk about magnitude so this is a scalar okay so we can't uh, write like this because vector cannot be divided by another vector i hope you have understood now now let us uh, do question number 9.2 in 9.2 it is giving that the angle of contact of a mercury with the glass is obtuse while that of the water with the glass is acute why happens what what happens to this <coughs> let us we know that in mercury cohesive force is greater than adhesive while in water cohesive force is less than cohesive force is less than adhesive now let us take this as an example <coughs> see here mercury will form a meniscus like this so mercury will form meniscus like this why this happens why this happens that mercury is forming a meniscus like this because cohesive force is greater why cohesive force means what um, the force between same type of molecules so what will happen it will try to attract each other forming a meniscus like this so it won't spread so now from here we can find the angle between the angle between the surface and the this so this angle will be obtuse angle now when we talk about the when we talk about the water water so in water what happens cohesive force is uh, adhesive force is greater than cohesive force it means that water tend to attract the other different type of molecules it means that if there is a glass so water will try to attack the glass so what will happen it will go up down up due to attraction 
so when it goes up so what will happen it will form a meniscus but it is in down it will uh, become depressed down okay due to the property of the adhesion adhesion so when we want to find now the angle between angle between the layer or the top surface and the surface of the contact so this is your acute angle okay so i hope you have understood this another uh, another part is b part let us take about the b part water on a clean water on a water on a clean glass surface tends to spread out while mercury on the same surface tends to form a drop put differently see let us talk about the this two surface same surface is there okay what will happen if we keep here the mercury so mercury will create a ball like structure why because of the adhesive force is greater adhesive force is greater than cohesive force sorry it is uh, uh, adhesive force is less than cohesive force so what will happen mercury will try to attack each and every one molecule so it won't able to step spread but when case of this is a case of mercury but when we talk about water that is h2o so what will happen its angle is acute angle so what will happen it will try to spread why because it will try to attract the different type of molecules okay so due to due to adhesive force is greater than greater than cohesive cohesive it will try to spread try to spread i hope you have understood this right now let us explain our third one surface tension of the liquid is independent of the area of the surface so let us take an example let us take this is the wire and it is your movable wire okay now there is a liquid layer so due to liquid layer what will happen if i want to find force force is equal to force per unit length is your surface tension okay so f is equal to s into l now there are two layers when we you know, see here there are how many layers two layers are there so in two layers so top layer and bottom layer so we will get two force one and force two so two force means total force is equal to 2f that is equal to 2sl okay so 2sl so when we talk about surface tension so surface tension is equal to 2s uh, surface tension is equal to force by length so here whatever we are increasing in the surface area also if i am decreasing the surface area also so there is a no impact on the surface tension so that's why surface tension is independent of the area of the surface okay <clears throat> now question number d Of uh, water with the detergent dissolved in it should have a small angle of contact. Water with the detergent uh, dissolved in it should have a small angle of contact. What do you mean by this? Why should happen this? Let us consider there is a water, and so you know that water will form a meniscus like this. Okay. Now, let when we mix a detergent, when we mix water. When we mix water plus detergent water plus detergent so what will happen so detergent it will reduce the surface tension it will reduce the surface tension when it will reduce the surface tension so what actually happens here so try to understand this is very important when it will reduce the surface tension so water will try to at try to attack more on this see here if earlier 
द मर्क्यूरी हैज लेस सर्फेस मर्क्यूरी इज वेरी हाई सर्फेस टेंशन सो इट इज फॉर्मिंग मिनिस्कस लाइक दिस बट वाटर हैज कंपेरेटिवली लेस सर्फेस टेंशन सो वाट विल हैपन इट्स मिनिस्कस इज लाइक दिस बट एज सुन एज यू विल मिक्स ऑफ डिटर्जेंट सो इट्स सर्फेस टेंशन विल रिड्यूस सो वेन इट्स सर्फेस टेंशन विल रिड्यूस देन वाट विल हैपन इट विल ट्राई टू गेट स्ट्रेच सो इट विल ट्राई टू गेट स्ट्रेच लाइक दिस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द फिगर सी हियर इट विल ट्राई टू गेट स्ट्रेच लाइक दिस वॉट इट इट मीन्स दैट द इफ देर इज अनी डर्ट मेटेरियल सो इट विल ट्राई टू क्लिंग विद डर्ट मेटेरियल एंड वन ए लेयर देर इज अ वाटर सो वाट विल हैपन वाटर विल पुल आउट वाटर विल विल पुल आउट द डर्ट मेटेरियल सो दैट इट विल गेट यू क्लीन इजली ओके सो सी हियर एक्चुअली वाट हैपन्स वेन यू वेन वी पुट अ डिटर्जेंट विद द विच रिड्यूस द सर्फेस टेंशन एक्चुअली रिड्यूसिंग द एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट सी हियर एंगल ऑफ द कॉन्टैक्ट सो वेन इट विल रिड्यूस द एंगल ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट सो इट मीन्स देर इज अ मोर स्ट्रेचिंग विल हैपन एंड ड्यू टू दिस डर्ट विल कम आउट ऑफ द डर्ट विल कम आउट ऑफ द क्लॉथ्स so i hope you have understood this now let us uh, discuss about uh, e a drop of a liquid under the no external force is always spherical see let us make a, the the drop which is in the form of a cube okay so this is the drop which is in the form of cube so the drop this is a drop this is a drop this is a drop so what will happen at this there is a surface tension so the force of attraction will be downward there is a surface tension the force of attraction will be downward so when you observe this the force net force will act in this direction so when net force will act in this direction so what will happen it will try to make a sphere when we talk about the sphere so what happens everywhere the force is like this force is perpendicular to the surface see here force is perpendicular to the surface but when we talk about the other shape so the force is not perpendicular to the to the layer or top layer of the surface so that's why when this happens so it tries to create try tries to make it spherical okay make it spherical i hope you have understood this explanation now let us discuss question number 9.3 uh question number 9.3 a it is a filling the blanks so surface tension of a liquid generally dash with the temperature so surface tension will increase or decrease with the temperature so surface tension when we increase the temperature so what will happen surface tension will decrease so finally it will surface tension of the liquid generally decrease with the temperature okay a while uh, now in case of a b viscosity of the gas dash with the temperature whereas viscosity of the liquid uh, dash with the temperature see for viscosity of the liquid when when we talk about the engine oil engine oil you know if in, there is a engine oil and if you apply a high temperature so what will happen it will start uh, its viscosity will decrease so definitely um, um, liquids uh, viscosity will liquids viscosity will decrease with the increase in a temperature while viscosity of the gas will increase viscosity of the gas will increase with the temperature okay now let us uh, discuss about question number c question number c uh, for a solid with the elastic modulus of a rigid uh, the shearing force is proportional to dash and for a fluid uh, it is proportional to shear rate of shear distance so let us draw this so see here when you apply a force so here we know that stress is equal to gamma into strain but when we talk about the fluid fluid what happens what happen in fluid what happen 
when you apply a force so it will move for a long time and it won't be stopped but in a solid what happened it will uh, it will go for a confine, confined displacement okay but it won't uh, cross this distance but in fluid it will cross the distance so it will go beyond the limit so it will move for a long distance so it won't is going to stop so it means that stress is equal to n eta into velocity by v by l means velocity it depends upon velocity but while it depends upon the displacement only so here it is your uh, v by l is your strain rate strain rate but uh, in this it is a uh, only strain okay so the answer would be answer would be shear strain and here it will be rate of fluid is proportional to rate of shear strain strain okay now d d next is a d d for a fluid for a fluid in a steady flow the increase in a flow speed at a constriction follows the conservation of mass or Bernoulli's principle. So when there is a constriction of the area, so what will happen? Let us consider this is a larger area. So suddenly it will come to a lesser area. So the what will happen? Density will decrease or increase. So what will happen? There will not be applicable of Bernoulli's principle. But what will remain constant? Mass will remain constant. So that's why A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. I, right? So from here it means that uh, conservation of mass is applicable for this okay now let us discuss about e the e it is for a model of a plane in a wind tunnel turbulence occurs at dash speed for a turbulence or for an actual plane of the greater or a smaller so let us uh, understand what the question want to ask you the question you um, they want to ask you that there is an actual plane aeroplane and uh, you know that there is a wind blowing like this okay and we want to uh, do an experiment so in experiment replica we use replica of the small size so let us consider this is very small size okay now what should be the velocity turbulence should be greater occurs at a dash speed greater speed or less speed so turbulence is defined by Reynolds normal that is re that is equal to rho into velocity into d by n where n is the viscosity viscosity of air viscosity of air okay okay now viscosity air will be same so viscosity will be the same for both the side okay density of the air will be same now the thing is velocity and d d so for comparison re should be constant for both the situation re should be constant for both the situation okay if re is constant for both the situation then what will happen if re will be uh, should be constant for both the situation it means that uh, if d will increase or decrease see here v and d here v is the velocity and d is the dimension so dimension so if dimension is less here dimension is less then velocity has to increase why because to keep the Reynolds number constant because if Reynolds number will be constant then only we can compare both the situation so dimension is less then velocity will be high so finally we can say that from the question the for the model of the plane which has a less dimension turbulence occur at a high speed only or greater speed so the answer will be greater speed okay so i hope you have understood this 9.3